Today I want to show you how to create a non-linear presentation in Apple's Keynote on your Mac, where you can be on a slide and click on any image and then go back to that main title slide. I'll show you how to do this very simply today on Keynote for your Mac. So here we have Keynote open on our Mac. We have full screen images that we're going to use. And then we have a first slide where we've simply cropped a strip off of each of those images to make our first one. So we'll zoom in here a little bit closer to Keynote. You see that original slide here, we've cropped the images and we wanna be able to get to any of these slides in any order. For example, if you were showing someone an option with six different places to travel, you wanna be able to get to any of those with one click without having to remember what slide number it was on or move back and forth. And so what we'll do is we will go into this image, tap on it, and then right click and choose add link. And the link we're gonna add is for a slide. We know the slide we wanna add is actually slide number two in our presentation. So we'll click down here, choose number two, and now that's ready to go. And we'll do that for each of these, setting it up for the slide that it needs to go to. This one, right click, add link, slide, choose over here, slide number three, the very next one. We'll keep this up. This one we know is then going to be four, so add link to slide, slide number, we'll choose four. Then this one, add link, slide number five. This one will go to six, and this one will go to slide seven. That's most of the battle. When you have this set up, ready to go, now each of these slides will take you to that slide it's been linked to. But the other thing of it is, if you think of this kind of like a website, you've got to be able to navigate both forward and backward. So over here on the right-hand side, I've added this globe. This is actually just an image. If you were to go up here, or just a shape, if you go up under Keynote and you could type in globe, you'd have all these different options. I chose the one that was just the most solid, added it in here. But the same thing you're doing with those images, you can now do with a shape. Right-click on it add link to slide. And this one, we're going to go all the way to the last slide. I know that's slide eight. You could also just have it do last slide and it will always go to that one no matter how many slides you have. And that's ready to go to get things started. So now we can go from our first slide to any slide in our presentation, including our very last slide. Now, on each of these slides, we also will navigate back and forth. And so on the bottom left, I put that globe, that shape. This is going to, always going to go to our first slide. So we'll go on here add link, slide, choose slide one, and then the right hand slide, side, we'll right click on that shape, add link, slide, and we'll choose to go to our last slide, slide eight. Now one of the great things is when you have those ready to go, click on one, hold the command key down, click on another, go up here and do edit, copy, and then just tap on each slide and do edit, paste, and it will drop them in ready to go without you having to do all the links over and over again. Every slide will have two shapes that will take you to the first slide and the last slide in that presentation. At any point you can navigate through. Now here's how this works. We we'll go in and play this slide. Anytime we're on this slide and click on the image, it'll take you to that corresponding slide. If we wanna go all the way to our final slide, we'll click on this right globe. In any of these slides, the left side globe will take us to that first menu slide again, right side globe takes us to the end. And that's what we demo at the beginning. We'll show it again to you here. Now we're in this presentation and they say, well, I wanna go beyond Egypt, I wanna go back. We got France, talk about that for a while, go back. You can talk about London, go back. Very subtle, talk about India. Go back, talk about Chicago, even talk about Galaxy's Edge over here. When you're all done, click your last globe, it takes you to the end. That's how you make a non-linear presentation using images for Keynote on Mac. If you want to find out more tips on making great Keynote presentations on your Mac or iPad, just check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thanks a lot.